today I'm doing something crazy. I'm going to look at the covers of these Rayman comics. They were unreleased because there's only one copy of each of these comics. And you can probably tell by the drawing that I made them when I was a kid. And these comics must be like a decade old. At least this one. Uh, also, I've got other, other comics here, but I'm not gonna look at them. At least for now. You can see this is crash, but let's first focus on this. And yeah, <laughs> that writing. If you know Slovak, then you can tell that here is a typo. And this was also a typo. Here it was a, it was originally D, but there's supposed to be T. And this basically means Raymond and Friends, Magic Stories. Wonderful title. I'm not gonna look at the... I'm not gonna look at all of the pages, but here, here is the first, like, gimmick of the first comics, where I drew characters, like, introduction of them, and then new characters, draw their names, and what's supposed to be their powers, and yeah, look at that, Leo originally had fire magic, just like I saw in the loading screen. Rayman 2. Okay, second comic. Now, if you're familiar with which magazines, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this pose and the idea of moving finger and some kind of magic come out of it, because it's actually based on that cover. I would say it is tracing, but with different character. And what kind of characters do we have here? Of course, aliens, ripoffs of Globox, Steely, and Rayman, of course. And calling them Rayma. How imaginative. And these were supposed to be ripoffs of Henchman 1000 with Henchman 800? I had no idea how robots work. Remember? Ah, yeah, introduction of Ice Fairy. I'm pretty sure I talked about her before on the internet. Let me bring it. Yeah, I also remember this one. What the heck is that power? I had no idea. But yeah, this is how she defeated her sister. <laughs> what else do we have? Oh, I also remember this one. What else do we have here? Yeah, Laria. I also remember her. I first thought those were ears. But now I know their hair. Oh, also, Rena. What is this ability? I don't understand. Check out the first comic. Okay. The second one is this thing. And this one. Ah, how many pages is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the shortest. I have ever drawn, but yeah, introducing two characters, wonderful. But yeah, here's the fourth coming mention, and here's the typo, <laughs> of course. And new fairies, check them out. And they're strange powers. If you can understand those, good for you, because I have to remember. I know these are petals from her. Head flower or something, and this one she could transform into mermaid, fairy, and a normal person without wings. Not sure how useful it would be in Raymond's world, but here it is. Oh, and I also, I also threw this these fairies into Raymond. Wonderful. But why would I do that? Because I was a kid. You know, the fairy, and she has the ability to cry? Why would I put such depressing drawing in this? What? Why? 
my! Look, twin babies. Whatever this is. Pozor, už ide posledné číslo časopisu remena, kamaráči! That's time pull! And here it is, what's supposed to be the last comic. Look at it! Rayman, Tilly and Millie in a serious pose, probably fighting against some kind of bad boss. Whatever we do. Any new characters? A witch fairy. Mm, of course, but what is her power? There's only her text. Oh, check it out. <laughs> this, this is wonderful. Oh, apparently humans exist in Rayman's world. Humans suck in fantasy games. <laughs> Except for Barbara. Barbara is awesome. Ah, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. 100! Defeating Rayman! Oh no! And what is he going to do? Oh yeah! Take his head, because that's what he said in the end of Rayman 3! Or in the middle of the game. And then Rayman doing something. I'm not gonna bother. Okay, let's go! Five new comics with ridiculous covers and probably ridiculous characters. Let's go! Fun can begin! Why are robots working with living creatures? Specifically aliens. I know these are aliens. Now Raymond has golden hands. You see they're golden because <laughs> they are <laughs> they are colored with blue or black, black or whatever the plan was. They're shiny. And that's how you can tell that they're gold. And that's probably bad because Raymond is not happy with that. <laughs> and another Raymond based characters have golden hands and they don't know why. <laughs> It's not like they're more powerful or anything, it's just, it's weird. No, I don't think they're supposed to be- Ooh, this is- This is cool. And there's Jeno! Oh my god! And probably another typo! Look at him! He's evil! <sighs> there's that scene from Rayman 2 where you're sliding down hill and running away from Jeno! <gasps> Or Guardian of Bad Dreams, whatever works for you. So, yeah, another comic, let's check it out. Rayman with golden hands and bandages from the last five comics. And Rayman clones. What else do we have here? Man, I wasted so much paper in the childhood. Look at it. I don't even like make small panels, I just take up the whole page. Look at that. Aha, uh -huh, it's black and white, so it must be mysterious. Or I didn't have a time to color it. Whatever works. Let's have fun! Yeah, look at that razor beard working with Rayman. What what times does these were? I miss these times actually. I used to think that in Rayman M all the characters were friends. And like competing in each of the arena and such. I used to read comics like these. It was fun back in the day. But nowadays it isn't. Nowadays I have to pretend that Razor is evil and he wants to take over the planet of Rayman. <laughs> uh oh! Enemy ship, of course. Then take your own like. I think it's based on mm, one ship of the Dr. Eggman from Sonic Adventure 1 because I played that game before and I probably saw it and I was like hey I can use it in a comic and now look at that four gods or some sort we have sun god, moon god, cloud god and lightning bolt god what do we have here? hmm some kind of evil villain look at that she has skin and razor beard and she's now take, she's now going to take a potion cookie and whatever. Please do. Yeah, here we have. Oh yes, look at that. <laughs> Both living in the sea. That's awesome. Oh, wait, what? Oh yeah, the last Raven special. Oh. I have to say things like that because. <laughs> Back in the day, things were awesome. 
Here it is. The final Raymond special. Ooh, look at it. Every comic. Oh. Any introduction? Oh no, it's the Eggman ship. <laughs> and now Raymond is kidnapped. <sighs> change of pen. Oh no. And now the villain is kidnapped. Raymond of some sort. But apparently something is wrong because he's missing a foot. And apparently that's not good. <laughs> Okay, I think that's based on one Raymond short from Raymond 3 where there's Raymond Ballerina. Now he's going to use that foot to defeat the main villain or at least distract him or something. Oh no, boom. She's dead. And now the ending of Raymond 2. I don't even have to explain, you can see. And look, Raymond is fine. Okay, here we go. I'm okay with two apostrophes apparently <laughs> let's just have a laugh at this because i'm a slovak and of course a nine-year-old wouldn't really know how to speak english well okay here's some redesign of the characters kind of improving my style and here's robot from rayman 2 it was supposed to be spyglass but now he looks like a dumb robot and serving a Rose fairy or some sort. Oh, yeah, here they are, the cans! And of course, Murphy, Murphy is creepy here. Look at his teeth. But yeah, here we go. Woo! And now Tilly's gonna do that too. Woo! Awesome. Ah, look at that apple tree. Raymond, don't take that fruit. It's forbidden. Anyway, here we go. I'm okay. Part two. But yeah, the villain is mad, and apparently she has Melanir, uh, Discount Plum, and now Raymond is going to take his sword and some sort of gem or whatever. <laughs> and apparently this fairy has fire powers, fire powers or some sort. And now she's real mad. Anything else interesting? Hmm, some kind of boomerangs or some sort. And she defeated herself. <laughs> Wonderful. And now they're going to search for their for their parents' schools. Their spirits. Whatever. And here they are! The spirits. Oh. oh no. And now going to they're going to turn them into spirits? Does that mean they're going to kill them? By the, by the way, I only remember these because my comics, of course I remember them. And I have to explain to you because you wouldn't even know what the heck are these about. They're in Slovak and <laughs> only thing you can see are the pictures. But yeah, here they are the villains. Andre, this, and this little... And now here's this guy. Whatever he is. No, everyone is back to good. People got it. Banished or some sort, but apparently it's not the end of this guy. He's laughing in a mirror. Oh boy! Yeah, look at that. That's cute. Ah, look at that. Kind of repetitive. Okay, the fourth one. Again, the evil guy just won't go away. He's like a nightmare. Raymond. Just, just dodge it. Don't just stand there. You have got plenty of time. It's a still image. Oh, I like this effect of characters in the water and bubbles coming out of their mouth. Whatever this guy is. Is he the new villain? I think he is. And now Tillian. Oh no, Raymond has died again. I shouldn't keep count of how many times I killed Red in these comics. Okay, the fifth and final one. And this one looks chill. Raymond is just surfing in the water. Raymond is mad that he's dead. And he's going to drink some 
portion of life or something because he's okay again. What the heck? <laughs> Why didn't they should do this before? <laughs> is that what I going to fight this ocean guy or something? I don't care. He kind of looks like Robux. And now here he is again. He's kidnapping Rayman. Oh no. And everyone is going to attack the big ocean guy. Yay. The power of friendship. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. I should probably not show this. Oh, look. Improved characters. Look at that details. I'm pretty sure it's going to be hard to draw these comics. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But yeah, every, everybody is apparently confused. They have changed. Even though they shouldn't be worried, it's part of growing up. Ah, look at that. Another evil villain. Who's going to be? This crazy woman or something. Come on, let's go. Find a life. Well, at least wrote life properly. I could, I could have written live. And it would be wrong. What do we have here? Oh, oh something serious is happening. And here she is! Whatever does she do? She shoots it! Raymond finally learned how to defend himself. Thank God! <laughs> I don't want to see Raymond dying again. What? What? What happened? <laughs> she just went to defend himself. <laughs> but apparently, Power of Kiss does it! <laughs> I don't need to read everything. You just see it. And you know it sucks. Ah, and here's Lee. And a new villain. Hmm. Maybe he's a good guy. Who knows? Maybe he just wanted to play with this little child. And he just don't know how to do that. Oh, look. The guy is going to play with this kid. He's got these nice fingers. Oh, come on. That's not how you play with kids. That's what villains do. And you don't want to be a villain. No, you don't want to be the villain. Really? <laughs> oh, they're not colored. Thank God, because the wool comics aren't even colored. But yeah, here's the dude. Here's the woman. And everybody's frightened. Raymond, he's brave. Because he has died so many times before. Anything interesting here besides cringe moments? Maybe not. Ooh, I remember this is from Raymond M at the cemetery. <laughs> awesome. And what do we have here? Some sort of crystal ball or something being thrown to the bad guy. It breaks. One half goes. Saving Lily, the little shot goes to his eye, and the other half into his face. Oh, rise and shine! I remember this! Anybody else? And now the generators are here! Yay! Now he's got the most awesome weapon of all! Pew pew! Pew pew! And he's out, because of course. Oh, here's Jenna again! Yay! <laughs> Yay! We escaped again! Here's everyone. Here's Andre, this is Red Moon, this woman, this flower woman, this woman, and here's the bad guy. He just can't turn into a good one. Oh no, the woman is comforting the bad guy. Oh, they're siblings. That makes sense. Their colors were similar. And now she touched these burning heads and they switched powers and now he's feeling cold. Interesting. I should make this into some comic nowadays. And kind of exploit it. Lily, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't! Don't! And... 
Oh no, it's a pentagram. They're going to summon demons. Oh! <laughs> okay, the fourth one. Lillian Henchman. My OTP. I told you, Lily, don't touch that bubble. Look at it. Now he's freezing everyone like in rain and end again. Huh. The three mysterious characters. This character. This character. And of course, Lee. Because I don't use her that often. Here it is. The final comic. Ever. Besides these, of course. <laughs> and yeah, remember these symbols? If you play Raymond M, you know what these are. Don't lie. Yeah, now here's some crappy explanation of these symbols. Like, this blue one is based on water. The red one is based on eyeball. Which is actually... The eye that knows everything. The purple one is a bear. And the green one is apparently the bird branch. Ptachi <laughs> Konar. The symbol of nature and protection. Of course. You should have known that, people who played Rayman M. Because I knew it. But yeah, here it is. Oh, what is this? <laughs> the game of life and death begins! How it will end? Of course we know how it's going to end. They're going to use their powers! We just explained earlier these symbols! You didn't know that? And now Lily is going to transform into a tree! With a bird on it! Because she has that power, remember? That symbol? And Globox is going to transform into a bear, like a symbol. And Dilly is going to transform into this decent looking fairy. I'm gonna add that, but because it is not colored, I can't tell how good it is. And the Rayman is going to transform into Vargo, fairy, because he's simple. I can imitate it. He's going to raise this, and then. And it's going to burn Lily because she's nature. Oh boy, the powers are down. They didn't help at all. When nothing else el well when nothing else helps, what do we do? Tilly is going to use her last powers to defeat the villain. And Raymond joins because of course. And now he's dying. From a simple cut. From a cheek. I don't think he's going to bleed that much, guys. There's no big deal. Eh, finally, Lee. Took you a long time. Eh, uh, yeah. Here they are. My OTP. They'll, jo they'll join and transform into a new look. Okay. But this is it. The final comic. There's nothing else left. Just a real quick, I'm not going to flip through all of these comics, but instead look at the covers. This looks decent, but it came after these main series. Why is Raymond in his basic form? Little kid me. What happened? But yeah, here's my OTP. Yay. And comics about Tilly, because Tilly was my favorite character back in the day. And I have heard that this year the voice actress of Tilly died. That's really sad. So here's a little tribute to her, these comics. And here's Tilly again. <laughs> and the Rise and Shine level. It, it was one of my favorites back in the day. And I liked the red one, because... I like red. In fact, I'm wearing red shirt right now. As an honor. And here is dealing with her friends. This is Lily, by the way, in case you didn't know. My first ever Raymond character. Oh, 
oh look, they're having a party. Steely, the normal one with blue eyes. Her second clone, the first clone with red eyes. Her third one with green eyes. And fourth one with yellow eyes. Now, a little quiz question. What does this remind you of? If you answered Raymond M, you're correct. Yeah, look at that. It actually looks cute. I should read the rabbit someday. Oh, well, here they are, the transformations. <laughs> and the uh, Tilly transformation. I mentioned before that it looks decent, but with brown hair, I'm not sure if, if it kind of ruins it. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, where it is? Oh, yeah, remember this guy? <laughs> I'm using him. I'm using him in my comic series right now, but of course, yeah, with a cape and a hat. I changed his backstory, so instead of hunting little kids with fire powers or something, he's a doofus working for Razorbeard. We don't know much about him just yet because I want to make him like. This little, uh, I'm not going to say covered, but kind of a silly character, an, an annoying one. It's just, he doesn't fit in the story, he's just pushing himself into it and like, yeah, I'm better than the main villain. I'm not going to spoil what I'm going to do with him at the end, but I can assure you that Razorbeard is going to be the main focus. This is just an annoying character. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed these, these little comics for whatever the value they bring to you. Either a waste of time, a cringe time, or just sort of showing how much I love making comics even to this day. And as you can see, I tried different kinds of ideas try to write different characters and I still like doing these nowadays because I can think like a good guy, a bad guy, a wise guy or a really really dumb character. And that's why you should enjoy making comics like this because you can play as any character with different personalities, different kind of thinking, and different goals. And that's the beauty of these comics. So I hope you enjoy these videos and have a nice day.